Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's mukbang is about oxtail. Oxtail soup. Look. Hey, it's oxtail soup. And then I got a bread roll to have it with. I also have a lime cordial your tears, guys. I needed that. I just got back from shopping. Okay. Yeah, so I just got back from shopping, guys, and it was stressful. Enjoyed putting it in the shopping trolley, but it was so stressful. <laughs> nah, that's a pretend stressful. I like shopping. Anyway, guys, I've already said my thanks. Thanks to the good Lord for providing this food. Here you go. Cordio, you're in my way. Hey guys, yep. Mm. That is going like getting a bit annoying. <laughs> Might be saying to me, change the battery. They can wait till after this. Anyway, so I want to tell you something. This was made last night for our dinner, right? And I put it put this away straight away so I can do my mukbang today look at this mmm cook nice and soft mmm off the burn already mmm mm, it's a soft roll my daughter said well you're not going to butter it I said no Because the oxtail is already like rich already. Have one more drink. Oh, I haven't done my thumbnail. Anyway. How you guys been? How are you guys going? Mm. So good, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Sometimes a day after soup or day after meal is a lot better, more tastier. Don't know why, but I think it's given it a time to mix them with the flavor. Mm. So good. I love oxtail soup. I love oxtail. <laughs> I had my brother over here one time and he goes, um, hey, what's your food? And I said, oh, you want some? And I, I didn't tell him what it was. And they came and, and I went and made him a plate and took it up to where he was. He got up to get on the table to eat. I said, oh, what's that? And he goes, that looks good. I said, yeah, yeah, come in, here, come in. And then he said, what is it? And I said, never mind about asking. Just see, you don't know, like it. He goes, oh, is that what I think it is? And I said, what? He goes, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 I don't want it. And I said, it's only oxtail soup. He goes, I'm not going to eat. <laughs> see, there's always something that someone won't eat, eh? My brother refused to eat the octo soup, so he wouldn't sit back down. And I thought, okay, more for me. 
Mm, he doesn't know what he's missing out on. Mm. Lovely. Lovely. See? I told my daughter I love it. I love it, but she said it doesn't have enough flavor. But how does she know? I'm the number one cook in the house. <laughs> I just saw my, my, my son pack up. He just got back from work. Mm. A couple of people asked me if I can do a mukbang for my son. Do you think about my children? They're very shy. I wonder where they got it from. Lovely green cordial. <laughs> Hello, son. Finish work? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, oxtail soup. Let's go into the Fortnite room. Noah's room. <laughs> My son's room is a fortnight room. Mm. My son is a chef. His name is Jerome. It's funny he's a chef, but I've never ever asked him to make anything. You know? Because to me, I just think, he goes to work, cooks, and then he has to come home and cook again. No. I can do that. Mm. See, the thing about oxtail soup, oxtail, you got to boil it for ages. Mm. I didn't even know about oxtail soup until I was working at this toy place called um, Lincoln Toys, way back in the days in New Zealand. And there's this lady that I know from outside, but, you know, we were talking about what we are going to make for dinner. And I said to her that I'll probably go out to eat with my children, my husband, and she was talking about oxtail soup. I don't know what it is. And I go, oh, well, I know what the soup is. I don't know what the ox have. And I said, ox, is that an ox, like an America ox? And she said, hmm, it's the ox tail. Um, tail of a, um, a cow. And I went, what? Oh, no, thank you. And she goes, oh, Go and go and go to the butcher and get you some. And then you just boil it for ages and then you just make you a uh, soup from it. And I said, oh, okay. The way she made it sound it like it's really nice. So I thought, oh, okay. Don't knock it down until you try it. And then she said, yeah. And I'm probably going to get Isaac. That's her husband at the time. Her partner at the time. Okay. And then she said, I'll probably go and get him some some taro. This is Balangi, she called it taro. And then she said, and then I'll go and boil it and then make him an oxtail soup. I said, you're a good wife. <laughs> and then she said, yeah. So, guess what i done. I went home. On the way home, I got some oxtail and I got some taro. I went home and I made sure I cooked that ox salad the way she told me to do it. And then it was really nice. It was really nice. My husband was happy. I thought it was yummy. And then I went back to work and I told her all about it. And then we started talking more about food. She's also the one that taught me how to make white sauce. She told me how to do it. Because I said to her, 
well, what's your dinner for tomorrow? You know, you can always tell people that's, you know, like interested in cooking, they want to know. Because people that don't really like to be in the kitchen to cook, they just like to eat. They hardly want to know any recipes, okay? So I said, oh, so what are you having for dinner? I just said, oh, I'll probably make corned beef and mashed potato and white sauce. And I go, white sauce? And she goes, yeah. And then she told me how to make it. See, why I kept asking, right, is because I was only 19 years of age. And my mum has never taught me that, you see. So, so that's why I, I was interested to know, I was interested to know how to make certain food. And um, when she was explaining it, I listened very, very carefully. I sure did. So, guess what I done? Yep, you guessed it. I went and got a corn silver side, um, some potato, and all that stuff she said to do to buy. And I went and I made it. My husband thought I was a chef. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was it was nice. It was it was really different because I'm always used to what my my mum makes or what my dad makes like curry lamb flaps, chicken curry, supper soy, yeah, the nice stuff. Hello, it's not horrible. Anyway, that food that she was telling me about that's considered balangi food. Hmm. So I listened really carefully to her. She does the thing about me. I like to observe when it comes to food, you know, because I'm a pig. <laughs> okay, I am a pig. I eat so much. And I love food. I love food, just like you guys. I know you guys love food, but some people, like I have a cousin, right? I don't know if I should mention her name. She might be watching this and say, oh, How dare she tell me? <laughs> anyway, I have a cousin. She likes to eat anything her, her mom, my favorite auntie, Auntie Leia. Her mom is a really, really good cook, right? But Nora, she's not really interested in to cook. No, that's what her mom said. My daughter there, she just likes to read and wait for the food. About her other daughter, likes to help her out in the kitchen. And that's my other cousin, Susanna. Mm. And I think, man, I would love to learn from her how to cook. So, I think it's because I love eating and my auntie loves cooking. And because her being my favorite auntie, I just think, no, I like, I like the way she is, you know, the way, yeah, I like the way she is. So she likes to cook and I, you know, like, that fascinated me. So, you know when you get good examples, adults as good examples, well, she was one of, one of them. Well, yeah, she was one of them, but one of the main, she's my favourite. She's my favourite, aren't she? You know, when you have your favorite aunties? Yeah, that one. Mm. Yeah, so this, this lady that I work with, well, she, that's why sometimes when I'm waking work, I also think of her. Sometimes when my kids want corn silver soap for their dinner, and I make it, they're all excited. And I think of Yvonne, the one that told, told me how to make it. This ox says soup, I would never know how to make it until I spoke with her and said, so guys, hmm? you know, some people you meet in your life, either you learn from them or you don't. And if they teach you a thing or two, you know, and it becomes good for your life, oh, praise God that you come across these kind of people. Hmm.
<laughs> this is messy, but it's all worth it. Mm. 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 Man, I am. Oh. One more, guys. One more. Mm. Just lucky, lucky, last. Mm. Mm. Missy. Okay. Guys, so I need a bit of noodles. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you what I found today. There was $7. I got it from Woolies. Okay. I checked the dates and I was wondering why are they on sale? Are they no good? And I checked the dates and they were bomb diggity. It said, take it, take it and go, take it and go. And I said, yeah, I'll have two. Ooh. <sighs> this is a chocolate one. Chocolate or coffee, I don't know. Mmm. It is chocolate. Mmm. 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 Oh, to myself, too. Mm. Okay. Mm. Obviously, strawberry. My daughter's been nagging me. Mom, can we give some macaroons? You know not. Please, Mom, please, please, please. You know how for say when, when they want something, they'll nag on until they get it. Well, this daughter, nag on and on. So when I saw these, I put up her. So I bought me one, and I got the other packet there, and that's for her. So when she gets home, when she puts away her dishes that's in the dish washer, she can have them. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Wonder what this is, caramel? Mm. They should be going nice. Hey, sweetheart. How are you? What's that? What's time? Three o'clock. Mm. Mm. Hey, why are you touching that? Leave it. I try to steal it. Okay, come over here then. No. Come and eat with me. I don't want to do that. How? Because I just can't keep myself. Baby. Mm. Yeah, put it down. Put it down. Oh, can I have your leftovers? No, that's yours. Mm -hmm. But, this is what you have to do. Go and get out of your uniform, go and wash your face and that. Yep. So I put away your dish rack and then you can make you a drink and... Okay. Are you happy to see it? Yeah. Because you've been nagging me to get it, eh? Yeah, this is why I bought it because you were nagging, 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 <laughs> here then. At least I had a try. Excuse Thank me, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I'll look. Have a good luck, babe. Mommy! Imagine if he fell. Hmm.
Okay, go into the told you. <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, though. So, now that's the daughter that one wanted to. She tried to kidnap it. And she tried to take off of it. I'm serious, but. Oh, yum! Mmm! Lemony, lemony. Mmm. Mm. Oh, guess what I've done? I bought a bag of lemons. I bought a big chunk of um, um, bag of lemon, big chunk of um, ginger. So this is what I done. I heard it deflates your your big puku stomach, All right? Because I I got a big puku. That's why we eat too much. <laughs> anyway, and then I I made it. Now. <laughs> okay, where is the? But then I found out you have to boil. The bugger. <laughs> you have to boil. You chop it up, all the stuff, put it in the water, boil it. When it comes to a bubble, you take it off, and then you just drink it like that when it cools down, of course. And it says, they reckon it helps, you know, deflate the. Mm. Hey, so long as it doesn't deflate my dollies. <laughs> my dollies. Yeah, go cool, yeah. I think this is going to taste like lime. Obviously it's lime because it's green. Mm. Mm. Green cordial, green picky, green... Um. <laughs> And green tea. <laughs> Who said that? Who? Vagina. Who said I got green tea? Mmm. Mmm. It's like lime crust with mint. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, well. Oh, I didn't try this one. Mmm, vanilla. Yeah, it's delicious. Do I put away your dishes? Otherwise, you're not going to get it. How do? Oh, okay. Geneva? Okay. Yeah, fat. <laughs> Go away. You have a good day at school, baby. Okay. Oh well, good. Yeah. I had a delicious meal today. Now I have to shut everyone out. Okay. Cheers, guys, mate. Oh. Okay. Time for the shoutouts. Look. Look at that. Page four. Okay. Uh, birthday shout out for Stevie. Okay, guys. Happy birthday, Stevie. It's Bridget T's uh, daughter. I just want to say happy eight year old birthday. You know, when I was eight years old, I turned eight and one of my favorite cousins made me a chocolate cake. His name is Sonny. Anyway, guys. My cousin, he made me a cake for my 8th birthday, and that was the first cake in my whole entire 8 years of age. So, I'll never forget it. He done something, a kind you know, gesture for me, because him and I, we got along, like, really well. <laughs> yeah, and I love him and I miss him. You know, no matter, we don't see each other, but I love and I miss my cousin Sunny. Okay? Anyway. Get back to the okay. I wanna I wanna say hello to Melissa Matira, Penny Sivaya. Oh hang on, wait. Penny Sivaya. I should have learned these names anyway. And uh, she's always supporting Penny. Thank you very much, Penny. Yeah, and then Jaden Haro or Haro. Sorry if I'm saying your father's name's wrong. But, you know, I, I'm trying to read it as I see it, okay? 
And then there's Joyce Fangafa. Thank you very much for commenting um, on my videos. There's these two girls that do mukbang, guys. Well, that's what the name of the video. Two girls, one mukbang. So check them out, guys, because they got a few um, mukbang videos. So it'll be interesting for you guys to go and watch. And I also would like to say hello and give a shout out to Rhea Hunt. Thank you, Rhea for uh, commenting and uh, watching my videos. Thank you very much. And then there's Jess Fare Papa. Um, yeah, well, Jess suggested that I do a mukbang with my son. I have five sons, guys. So which one would be the lucky one? I don't know, because they're so shy, guys. You know? It's like, oh, can you just come and help? And <laughs> no, they're like, Sammy Smith as uh, a new subscriber from New Zealand. Thank you very much, Sammy. And Stephen Pakina. Um, I want to say thank you very much for commenting. Um, Asintaro, I've seen you. I've seen your comments here and there. I hope I've replied to at least one of them. Thank you very much for stopping by, and you know. And then there's Tama. Tama, oh, I think it's Tama T. Edith, is it? I was trying to say this name. Tama T. Edith? Okay, hello to you. Okay, and Bridget T., who, um, that, her daughter is Stevie, that turns eight on Thursday. Uh, happy, happy birthday, okay? Uh, thank you for always stopping by, leaving comments. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. God bless to everyone, okay? And God bless for my food too that I always do for my mukbang. Uh, God bless to my lovely daughter here that taught me how to edit. And she's put away her dishes, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. She's put away her dishes in the dishwasher. Then after that, she's going to go and what? No fortnight. Didn't oh, you get banned yesterday for what did you do wrong? Yeah, you slept in. So, mm -hmm. no fortnight for you today. <laughs> no, no fortnight. Then after that, you can go shower. Okay, guys. Say goodbye to my channel then, and I'm going to let you play. Bye, baby. Like that. No, you say bye to my viewers, not to me. Okay, guys, bye. You guys take care, okay? Oh, that oxtail, get you some and make you some and mm, 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 enjoy it because my daughter said, mm, I don't like this. Oh, different taste buds, sorry. I loved it. Look at it all gone. Gone down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on, no, no. <laughs> okay, take care. Better go before I get up and start dancing, okay? Yeah, fat. Hi baby! I'm the better one. Um, okay, how do we do this, mommy? Mommy, you know you can see your food in the, this mess in the frame? Yes, because I just ate it. Thank you very much, okay. woman. So today we're going to be eating these, like, rooms. We got it from Woolworths, duh, we can't get it from no other, or, um, any other places because... How do you know I got it from Woolworths? I've seen it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hold on. I need more milk because that's like my clear palette thingy thing for like everyone else. Sorry, so I have my milk here. My mom's left over, sorry. I have my milk here in the cup. Oh. I don't know the flavours. So, like, we're going to have to see. Okay. So, here they are. Looks really good. Hold on, let me try and focus it. How does mommy do it? Mommy does like this. Wipe my nose. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I tried. I really tried. What's the flavours, mum? What's the flavours? You have to guess it yourself. Hold on. I have to guess mine, you have to guess yours. I haven't, like, nails it. So we're going to try this green one first. 
think this is like um what's it called it's like it's one of these nut it's one of a nut like a nut kind of thing pistachio that's it I think this is pistachio What do you think this one is? I don't know. It's like lime and mint. Well, what do you think it is? I don't know. Um, who said to touch my fan woman? Excuse me, I had, to, I had to focus it, you know. Did it focus? I think so. Try this yellow one. I'm gonna clean my palette. There you go. This yellow one. Oh, let's see here. inside okay have the other half of it wait go away have the other half so mum gave me the white one and the caramel one, so I already know what they taste like. Really good. So far, my fa my favorite is the yellow one. Okay, so onto the pink one. Um. I think this might be like strawberry or something. It's just a pink one. I just came home from school. So my hair might be messy, but there you go. Hopefully mom doesn't put this like in her video. This is only my ground mommy, so if you see this please don't put it out there. I'm scared, I don't want to do it out there. 